Oh. Right, take two. I just recorded this entire video uh, with my X-T3 left on manual focus from yesterday. So, I gotta do it all again. What did I say? During the mean whilst. During the mean whilst? No, no, no. no. Well, hello, it's uh, Dexter and me uh, back on YouTube. And how, how exciting has it been? We woke up on Sunday morning, the day of Dexter's birthday, to snow. Um, a complete blanket of snow. The first time we've had snow stick here for about three years, I think. Uh, maybe even longer, I'm not sure. Uh, so it inspired me to uh, finally get out of the house, on foot of course, didn't drive anywhere, uh, and found a little area about literally two minutes from where I live that I never even knew existed before. Uh, just on the bottom of my street, uh, through like a little um, field, and it was fantastic. Just a really lovely area to go and, and take pictures. Um, yeah, so uh, I'll definitely be going back there um, uh, when uh, time and uh, pandemic and conditions permit. Uh, I also managed to get out, uh, which is why my XG3 is in manual focus mode, and uh, take some uh, close-up images of a couple of frozen um, flowers in the garden. I'm not going to show those today because it's uh, inspired a video that I want to make about uh, macro photography with my um, X-T3 Fuji 35mm and uh, some cheapo JJC extension tubes. So look out for that in about two weeks time I would say. Uh, for this week though um, Dexter and I want to take you uh, off the beaten track to the upper reaches of the Swansea Valley and the southern fringes of the Brecon Beacons to a place that we call our paradise. Um, a strange name for a little obscure area, you might think, but my family and I absolutely love it there. I think it was my sister who um, christened it uh, as paradise. Um, and it is... Uh, a little back road uh, just off the main uh, Swansea Valley Road. For those of you uh, local or who may know, just go past Danarog of Caves uh, and as you're heading north uh, before you hit the road to uh, climb to Cray Reservoir. There's a little fork off, <laughs> fork off to the left uh, on the unclassified Tricastle Road. And uh, as you go along there then, uh, the road starts to um, run alongside the Infant River Towie as it cascades its way down um, down towards uh, Swansea Valley. Uh, it really is a lovely, lovely place to go and take pictures. Uh, it, it can get a little bit busy in the summertime, uh, especially if the weather's really hot and sunny because uh, the pools there are quite deep. People like to uh, strip off and dip, uh, dip themselves in them. Uh, they are deep enough to, to jump into and, and swim in. Um, but uh, people being people, they tend to then like, you know, leave their barbecue fire there, leave their rubbish behind instead of taking it home. And that is a complete, a complete no-no in my mind. Anyway, um, photographically wise, I would say then the best time to go there uh, is um, going to be uh, autumn, winter and spring. Avoid the summer unless you go in there for your astrophotography and I'll get onto that a little bit later. There are numerous photographic opportunities um, in and around this area. I mean, as you go higher up the mountain, if you can walk up there, uh, towards uh, Llinevan uh, Vach and Llinevan Vaur, the two lakes at the top. Uh, this, this is where the uh, River Towie kind of springs out of the mountain, if you like, and then um, heads its way down the mountainside. Now, as, as it sort of gains in strength and velocity, it le lends itself to, to some really quite spectacular uh, waterfalls further up the mountain. And even as you get further down, and 
the river kind of flattens out, there are still uh, lovely, lovely cascades uh, to shoot. And I've shot them numerous times and put the images up on here, but I'm shamelessly going to put them up again. And this is the place where I think I took last year's uh, best image, if you can remember that video from, uh, from a couple of weeks back. But aside from the actual uh, stream and the river and the cascades themselves, you've also got dippers um, who nest in the banks of the river and then uh, fish nearby. Now I love dippers, they are my favourite birds. And if you get there and you're really still and peaceful and quiet, uh, they will come out and you can then watch and photograph them um, fishing in the river. Now I'm no wildlife photographer so I've never ever taken a picture of them, um, but I would imagine that um, if you are that way inclined, I'm going to take wildlife on bird pictures, um, yeah, then bring a long lens uh, and you'll be set to go. From further up the Tricastle Road then, there's a little lay-by and that affords excellent views over, uh, over the Brecon Beacons. Uh, to the north you can see um, Penavan and Corn Dee and in the winter when they've got snow on them, uh, it's, it's a lovely, lovely sight. So again, uh, take a telephoto lens, uh, your tripod and get some panorama shot. Uh, I'll pop one up now and I'll also pop one up of a mountain that I cannot uh, pronounce. Uh, e even as a proud Welshman, I can't say the name of this mountain, Van Gehirich or something like that, I think it's called, uh, which I took last year. Um, and you've also got countless, countless opportunities to take pictures of sheep. <laughs> Anyway, also from up here, uh, if you come in, uh, well, any, any time of year really, but in the summer months are best, uh, came after midnight, uh, this is a designated uh, dark sky area uh, and the views of our cosmos and the Milky Way are quite, quite spectacular. Now, I've not taken a picture of the galactic core of the Milky Way there, I've never been there at the right time of year to do that. But I still managed to get some uh, halfway decent um, astro images of like the, the Milky Way and of some star trails. Uh, please don't laugh at these images. I am no astrophotographer. Um, they are the best I could do, uh, trust me. Um, further down the Swansea Valley, uh, you've also got uh, Craigenhorst Country Park, which is a really, really nice place to go. They did have, before lockdown, a lovely, lovely cafe there. Whether it's still there or not, fingers crossed it is, because Dexter and I love going to Craigenhorst North Country Park. It's one of our favourite places to go. Uh, again, you can park up, and within feet you've got, you know, uh, photographic opportunities. Um, and a lake and a lovely cafe. Uh, it's, it's just such a nice place to go. Now, the best time of year, I think, to go to Craigenhorst North Country Park for photographs is going to be um, autumn time when the sort of the trees are transforming uh, from green to lovely russet browns reds and oranges um, and also in the winter when you get snow there uh, but another time uh, which is great for uh, for Craig and Aust, is late May uh, there are rhododendron um, tunnels uh, which were planted up uh, by the um, uh, founder of Craig and Aust, uh, Dame Adelina Patty, I think her name was. She's a world famous, uh, or was a world famous uh, opera singer whose ghost is reported to still haunt uh, the castle and the park, if you're lucky enough to see that. Um, but when, uh, in late May, early June, when the blossoms drop off the rhododendrons and carpet the ground you can get some really lovely images then um, there is a oh there was um don't know if there still is a uh, photographer based in the park uh, a wedding photographer based there uh, and he's got some lovely pictures uh, which he sells of of the park and the area uh, well worth um, a visit there to see uh, see the park and to see him um, if you do go there and pop in and say hello to Bob, say that uh, Nick sent you and you'll go, who the hell is Nick? <laughs> anyway, um, 
to go back to uh, the main subject, and that is um, the, uh, the area we call Paradise. Um, you can park there really easily. Uh, it, it's usually quiet. Uh, like I said, not so much in the summertime. Um, you, you can get images from your car. You can get images from the roadside. Uh, you, you can walk 20, 30 feet and get images right down uh, at the stream uh, of the Cascades there. Um, so you don't need to be uh, fit, able-bodied um, and a super hiker to get uh, to get really nice images there. Of course, further up the mountain you've got the uh, some of the waterfalls and you've also got the um, the two lakes, um, you've got the escarpment then leading over to uh, another lake and there, the area is also um, uh, the site of a couple of uh, plane crashes sadly uh, from uh, just after the second world war I think uh, a couple of planes went down there in bad weather um, and you, you can still find um, the rusty remains uh, of some of them Right, well, that's it for... Um, oh no, I'm going to tell you uh, one story because this is the Brecon Beacons. Uh, it is a mountainous area and the weather can change like that. Uh, so you have to be prepared, especially if you go there in the winter, uh, for any sort of eventuality. Now, around about three years ago, uh, when we had the last heavy dump of snow, uh, Dexter and I went up there, not in the 4x4 Audi, as you would have thought, but we went in my uh, Mazda MX-5, which I sadly no longer have, but never mind. And uh, we tried to get to the top to take a picture of Penavan and Corn D in the snow. Um, we got to within about 100 metres of the top uh, and got stuck. So I was le then left with the prospect in heavy falling snow, of taking the roof down off the Mazda so I could see where I was going uh, and having to reverse about a mile back down uh, the mountainside with the car fishtailing all over the place uh, a drop down to the <laughs> to the valley floor down there uh, and it was quite quite scary by the time I got to the bottom my chest was aching I was pounding with adrenaline uh, but we, we made it but um, if you're gonna go there uh, don't try and emulate what Dexter and I did that day uh, unless you got a 4x4 with winter tires on um, yeah so be prepared it can be uh, dangerous there because it is a wild area obviously uh, right well that is it from Dexter and me I'm now gonna look at the footage of this and hope that this time it, it is actually in bloody focus uh, otherwise i have to film it again and i'm not going to do that again today because i got a bit of a frog in my throat and i'm not going to film anymore today right next week is the, going to be the last in this mini series and dexter and i are going to take you to dun raven bay on the glamorgan heritage coast uh, so if you're interested in that or even if you're not uh, come back in a week's time and dexter and i We'll see you then. In the meantime, stay safe, stay well, stay virus-free, look after yourselves and your loved ones, and we will see you again very soon. Bye-bye. She's got a smile that it seems to me Reminds me of childhood memories When everything was as bright as the bluest sky
me of a warm, safe place where I see shine the heart and pray for the thunder and the rain to quietly pass me by.